What up, YouTube? This is your boy Game for Daniel, aka Big D. And today, I just want to show you guys how to play online on your modded Xbox 360. Okay, this is a customized modded Xbox 360. Pretty sweet looking. But if you have games on here, like you know, Call of Duty, Black Ops. Black Ops 2, 3, and you want to play online, but you don't want to connect it to Xbox Live because you can get your account permanently banned. So there's a way of doing this where you can have an online account that's not through Xbox. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. this what we need to do here is hit our back, well not our back button, but hit our start button which is our settings, and you can see right there, Unity. So this is what we need to enable and put in our username. So we need to go to website, Xbox, Unity, dot net. Once you put that in, okay, what we need to do is register and go ahead and put in your information of creating a Unity account. This will be like your modded Xbox profile account that's not through Xbox Live, but it still gives you the ability to play online on Xbox. All right, so once you have that set, it should say added user. Right here is the activation link, so we go ahead and click on the activation link. This just confirms, and it says, Big D Modder 2025 successfully activated. Now we need to go back on our Xbox 360 here, and we need to go to our system settings. Go to our network. And I am wired, you can also use wireless. And just to show you guys. So, like I said, you don't want to connect to Xbox Live. Because you don't want to get banned. Um, but I can show you where I have it set up where the console won't let it connect to Xbox Live. It will block it before it connects. And you can see that right there. See, it blocks it before. So... What you want to do is don't go to Xbox Live connection, but go to test PC connection. Click on that. And how you know it works is once it goes through, it should say PC not listed. So we go ahead and go back. And we go back to our Aurora home. So once we are back to Aurora, we'll go ahead and click on our settings, or not our settings, but our back button. So, but it should say your IP address right there. If it shows your IP address on the screen, then you're connected to the internet. Okay, so we're going to go back to Unity connection. So we'll go ahead and click Enable. And go ahead and type in that username that you picked. Okay, so make sure you have Unity enabled. Go ahead and type in your username and then request key. And that will have you enter your password that you created for your Unity account. Once it's done, now you got all your box covers of all your games. You can look around, you can flip at the case, you can zoom out. It's really nice. I I actually like the way this looks. It looks way better than like the original Xbox 360 dashboard. Like this looks sick. I actually wish this was like a feature. But you can, at least you can get it in a mod, so it's very cool. So yeah. Now we have all our box arts reason why you're seeing doubles because some are disc one and some are disc two like disc one disc two so we have a few more setups here so what we're gonna do is set it up 
through System Link, which doesn't cost anything to play online. So we need to set up System Link, and pretty much what it is, it's like two Xbox 360s and linking them with an Ethernet cable together, and you could play online that way. Well, what this is doing is taking that System Link feature, and it's like you're system linking to another person's console across the world and you're able to play online for free that way so how we're going to do this is go to first step is to go to make sure you have aurora of course but go to your dash launch and we need to go to network and make sure ping patch is enabled and dev link is enabled. so dev link disabled ping patch enabled hit your right bumper go to your hard drive and don't hit A but make sure you hit I believe it is X to save it and if you did it right it says settings save to hard drive hard disk drive the hardest part about this is, so what we're going to do is go back to our system settings. Go back to our network. I'm wired, but if you're wireless, go to your wireless. Go to configure network. And if you're connected, make sure you jot down your IP address and all that. Take a picture of your IP address, subnet, mask, and gateway. Manual. Okay, so... Whatever it was, type it in exactly how it was. For the same thing, DNS settings, we want to do manual as well. Make sure you take note of what it was. Type it in exactly how it was. Whatever it was, put it in. Alright, next thing is modules. Go to Nova. Make sure this is set to always enable load on boot turn this off and then hit your right bumper and this is your web UI and link okay so make sure everything is enabled here and you can see the data port is 3072 and broadcast port is 3071 those are all right go ahead and verify and everything goes through once you're done all that, go ahead and back it all out. Now, here comes the fun part, actually playing the games. Now, remember I said we are pretty much connecting to System Link, which is pretty much a LAN network that connects two Xbox 360s or more through an Ethernet cable, but we're just doing it through a online version of it. So... With that in mind, games such as online only games that require Xbox Live, which Black Ops 3 is one of them, you will not be able to play this game. And I just found this out because that is required in Xbox Live account. We can't connect to Xbox Live or we will get our modded console banned or our profile banned. So what we're doing is we're using games that use system link any games that use system link you have the ability to play it online through somebody else on their other 360 throughout the world and you can play it that way for free so black ops 3 is a no-go that one is like an online xbox live only but i know like black ops world at war definitely has system link um there's there's Games, Gears of War 3 has it. Um, just games that have System Link, Halo 3. So, before I forget, make sure you go to whatever game you're playing, hit Y, and go to Title Updates, press A, and we want to go over and make sure we download the latest version, which will help us find better results and perform better online.
So go ahead and download that. And whatever the person that your system linking to, make sure they're on the same version as well, whatever version you guys pick. Then we go over and then we want to enable by pressing A and then we are good and then we can boot up Gears of War 3. And as you can see it's booting up normal. And boom, we're in Gears of War 3. And then on the game, you can see on the top right there, it says local. We want to change that to system link. And you can see there's no matches found, so we're going to hit Y to create a party. So now we create a party, and when we hit our home button, now you can see system link is highlighted. So we're going to go ahead and click on system link and now you can see public rooms and game rooms. So this is how you would join other players lobbies, whoever's playing. This would be how you would play and join people. You also have, if there's nobody on here, you can create your own room, hit Y. And you can set it up however you want. If you want it to be co-op play or a modded game room, hacks, uh, you can set a password. Or they would have to type in a password for them to join any region. It's it's pretty cool. It's it's kind of like a bypass through the system link. Instead of doing it through a LAN network, you're doing it online instead. So it's a really cool way of playing online on a modded console without getting your console or account banned so i hope this helps you guys out and we'll try another game for example maybe one that people are playing like i said games like black ops 3 that require xbox live or online capabilities will not work with the system link feature because they require xbox live instead as you can see when I click A, that's what it says. And you don't want to do that because then you would get banned on your console. So Black Ops 3 or games that require Xbox Live will not work on this system link feature. So just keep that in mind. So all honesty, there's really no point having this game on here because it does not work on a modded Xbox 360. Now it says you can link up, but that is not true. You cannot link up on Black Ops 3 as it requires Xbox Live. Next one is World at War, so there's gotta be people playing this one. It is also Christmas morning as I'm recording this, so maybe people ain't online yet because they're opening up gifts. As this console was my Christmas present that I got. Alright, but same thing. Go to multiplayer and make sure you're setting it up to system link. So there it is right there, system link. We'll go ahead, see if we can join a game. No games, okay. We'll create a game. Go ahead. Go to our system link here. So it looks like nobody's playing on this as well. Alright, we're going to try Black Ops 2. Go to system link. See if we can join. Create. Go to our system link. And it looks like we actually have more public rooms this time so these are rooms that people created so we can join this one and you can see where it joined and then it shows you how many people are in the game room which there's nobody here at the moment like I said it is Christmas morning 
but that is how you play online on a modded Xbox 360. I hope this video helps. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I am out this thing. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace! And yes, I can change the colors on this. Very cool.